हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी अनदर क्लास ऑफ बिजनेस एक्यूमेन सो बिफोर वी शुड प्रोसीड टू आर टुडेज टॉपिक दैट इज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ बिजनेस एक्यूमेन लेट अस रिवाइज व्हाट वी हैव डन इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास सो इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेरियस कॉन्सेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू द बिजनेस एक्यूमेन वी हैव आल्सो कॉइंड द टर्म एंड वी टॉक्ड अबाउट स्पेसिफिकली and the term was street smart that how and why and when a person is coined by the term street smart so from where uh, we derived the term that is situational awareness if somebody is having uh, awareness or familiarity with any of this situation whether it's a business problem or any other thing we can coined him with the term that he is having that um, experience and familiarity with that particular situation and he is a street smart or i should say that the people who understands the actual ground realities of any situation are termed are coined by the term street smart and when we were discussing this term street smart so there were two important words which came across one was your knowledge another was your experience and understanding and we concluded there that both the terms are important in the context that knowledge is important since you need to understand the concept and without understanding knowledge cannot work and we derived from there that both are uh, independent or both are dependent on each other they cannot work in isolation they cannot go both of them has to go in parallel and uh, with this we also discussed about the specific meaning of acumen which talks about the ability to make good judgments and take quick decisions and at the same time quick decisions does not mean the without any homework but it has to be the right decisions the output has to be generated after taking those decisions and then we switch to business acumen right what we mean by business acumen then the various terminologies related to the technological acumen financial acumen and the most important was decision making so how a decision need to be taken whether it is the professional environment whether it is the industry whether it is market whether it is related to the product or related to the services so it how business acumen uh, can be developed uh, and why it is important to develop business acumen in today's environment in today's world i hope that we are comfortable with the meaning and uh, definitions and the basic concepts about acumen so in today's video we are going to discuss the various elements of business acumen and to start with what we are going to do in this video we are going to discuss the introduction to the various elements and in the further videos and in the further classes we are going to have a in detail discussion on each and every element so introductory session will be based on on the understanding of one's thought process so we are, there are various elements of business acumen thought process business knowledge management process management and leadership skills and strategic thinking so what we are going to do now is we'll be having a basic introductory session on these on understanding one's thought process how business knowledge can be developed effective use of the management processes management and leadership skills and focus on development of the strategic thinking and to start with the very first one uh, let us understand what we mean by thought process so as far as macmillan dictionary dot com thought process is the way in which your mind works or the process of thinking about something and that something can be anything when you when your mind works about anything when your mind is thinking about something it can be a problem it can be a solution it can be a product it can be a service it can be a um, situation it can be uh, it can be anything so when your mind actually start working it is known as the thought process um, and in general if we talk about so the process of using your mind to consider something carefully is not only thinking but when you carefully scrutinizing when you carefully thinking about something with the aim with the objective of getting something fruitful getting or coming to any conclusion we call it like we are having a thought process and we are thinking something um, 
if we if i quote an example of thought process it can be like is to deeply concentrating on how to figure out a problem first to analyze the problem when you analyzing any of the problem you are going through the thought process your mind is working on the problem it is just thinking about the various aspects what the problem is all about or it can be the another example of a thought it can be an idea on how to solve a problem it can be what is the basic problem or it can be on the other part that how to solve this particular problem so when your mind is working when you are when you are full of thoughts and you are thinking something uh, we can call it that our mind is working and it's a thought process so the importance of thought process can be understood uh, i'm going to quote few uh, words i'm quoting few lines from swami vivekanand that we are what our thoughts have made us so take care about what you think words are secondary thoughts live and they travel far and far away so what he mean by that that whatever you are speaking can be different what whatever you are thinking will make you the right man whatever your thought process is all about will have the better results whatever you are thinking the way the the line you are selecting whatever the direction you are uh, your mind is working upon you will be going in the similar direction right so if you realize just how powerful your thoughts are you would never think a negative thought so it's very important to think positive why every now and then everybody is saying that think positive think positive come out of the negative zone think positive and your life will be full of wonders because when you realize this particular fact that if your thoughts are positive you will have a positive outcome and if you are thinking on the negative side you are always worried you are always concerned about negative thoughts also we nelson uh, quoted once you replace the negative thoughts with the positive ones you will start having the positive results so swami vivekanand quoted that whatever you are you are because of your thoughts so this shows the importance of your thought process and uh, one quote highlighted that if you realize that your uh, thoughts are you will you will never think of negative thought and if if they if you're being surrounded with the negative thoughts please replace your negative thoughts with the positive ones and you will start having the positive results again if there is a famous quote by buddha about uh, thought process and about your thoughts see nothing can harm you as much as your own thoughts unguarded whatever you will think will have will certainly paves the way for the future so it is important what you are thinking what is going on in your mind because that will ultimately decide the future course of action so always think positive once when you understand the power of your mind the power of your thoughts you can develop in a better judgment you will be in a position to take good judgments and at the right time which ultimately leads and we are talking about acumen after understanding our own potential let us develop the business knowledge so uh, before understanding what we mean by business knowledge let us discuss what we mean by knowledge so knowledge in basic term terminology is refers to as the facts information and skills acquired through experience or education that we have discussed earlier also that experience is the biggest teacher or from the education the theoretical or the practical understanding of any subject whether it's a problem whether it's industry based whether it's market based whether it's your personal whether it's your education related whether it's particular domain related when you have the facts and figures when you have the information it combine it becomes the knowledge or in other words you can say it's is the awareness or familiarity gained by experience of a factor or situation and then this information facts and skills which are being acquired with the help of an education or the experience converted into business and linked with the business it's known as business knowledge so if i uh, specifically talk about business knowledge it's a business owner's extensive reservoir of understanding on customers needs and preferences the various aspects of consumers the various aspects of business related problems business environment and their dynamics how business environment keeps on changing how they are impacting the business and businesses staff skills experiences and potentials and the business overall foreseeable direction 
from the business environment from the experiences from the facts from the information one can get the business knowledge but the important question is how can i get the business knowledge so here are the five strategies to improve your business knowledge uh, about the businesses right the very first one is find a mentor and uh, you can improve your business knowledge so uh, take guidance from the one who is more experienced than you uh, who is in that particular industry who is in that particular uh, domain and uh, take the guidance and so that you can improve your business knowledge second one is your research information to increase your business knowledge go for the extensive research go for the literature which is available with that particular market scenarios or market or product or any business uh, you are into learn from the experts go for the success stories go for the failure stories go learn watch them how they have become experts in their domains get a business degree right now what you are doing is you are getting a business degree and gets hands on hands on means go into the deeper part of the businesses practically understanding your business when you have when you are observing the day to day working of the businesses you are into and you want to right the next one is the effective use of the management process as we know that we are management students management process is all about setting goals planning and or controlling the organizing and leading the execution of any type of activity and these activities can be related to the business can be related to the project or a process say for example process management processes or a project management right so we need to have an effective use of the management processes and these includes uh, planning and decision making which defines or determines the entire course of action the blueprint of the course of action then we have the organizing which means coordinating the various activities and the various resources the organization and the company is having then leading managing motivating and directing people because this is the execution part this is the most important part after organizing that you need to lead the people you need to ask them to work get on to the work right and last most important is the controlling in which the monitoring and evaluating activities see the deviations and if there are deviations take the corrective actions and if there are no deviations you are wonderful at your planning and the last one is the management and leadership skills so peter f drucker has very rightly quoted that management is doing things right but leadership is doing the right thing so there is a close line between the two words management is doing things right leadership is doing the right things and uh, join quincy adams has also quoted that if your actions inspire others to dream more learn more do more and become more you are a wonderful leader and it is very important in today's scenario to become a leader because you need to lead the team so that the entire team follows you your mindset your thought processes and we should also understand that why leading is important because leadership is important because it sets a clear vision and communicates effectively to subordinates and colleagues the clear vision gives them a better understanding of organizational direction and makes them realize their roles and responsibilities so in the figure we can say that if one is saying that i can't do it only a leader can cut the t out from that image and one will be in a position to say that yes and yes i can do it becoming a leader is not that easy task becoming a leader is always on thinking strategically so strategy is the art of planning and directing overall military operations if we see the earlier definitions of what a strategy is but nowadays a strategy in general sense is a plan of action designed to achieve a long term or overall objective or overall aim so if we talk about business strategy it is always concerned with the business objectives business targets say for example the maximization of the profit achieving its goals a summary of how the company will achieve its goal meet the expectation of its customers and sustain a competitive advantage in the marketplace so why to focus on strategic thinking because the strategic thinking is simply an intentional and rational thought process that focuses on the analysis of critical factors or the factors Uh, on which the success or failure of any business depends and variables that will influence the long term success of a business a team or an individual it helps to understand where you are positioned in the market where is your current position the image shows the strength weaknesses opportunities and threats 
so these strategies are the groups of all these strength weaknesses opportunities and threats and at the end let's combine together the thought process business knowledge management process management leadership skills and strategy thinking when all these elements combine together it will help us to develop the business acumen so with these words thank you everyone uh, we'll be understanding and we'll be having a good discussion as we had in the previous uh, session of us thank you